hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how i styled this wig how i did the cuts of the wig how i did the layering how i did the curling everything this is a kinky straight wig and i decided to just play around with it a little bit and give it some layers and it just turned out perfectly so yeah let's jump straight into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another wig video for you guys i'm going to be showing you how i cut layers in this wig um yeah i'm going to show you guys exactly how i cut the layers for the bangs and everything to make it look like this this is a kinky straight wig 20 inches i basically cut layers then put in some curls and this was my result but yeah i'm going to show you guys exactly how i do everything from start to finish if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below Turn your notification bell so I'll be notified when I upload my videos. And without further ado, sit tight and let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so the wig is from Atina here. This is the box it comes in and all the stuff that comes in the box. As you can see, this is the wig out of the pack. It's 20 inches. It comes with an adjustable strap and combs for extra security. And it does have a pretty wide parting space as I'll be showing you guys pretty soon. So this is the hairline of the wig. As you can see, it's plucked really nicely, plucked to perfection. Um, it starts thinner at the edges, then gradually becomes thicker as it goes back. You don't have to pluck a single hair from this hairline. It is nicely plucked and um, the knots come bleached already from ear to ear. As you guys can see look at that the hairline is perfectly pre-plucked now let's look at the parting space this has a really wide parting space it's 13 by 6.5 most wigs are usually 13 by 4 sometimes you get 13 by 6 but this one is 13 by 6.5 so it goes way far back as you guys can see and the deeper the parting the more natural the wig looks look at that it almost looks like it's a full lace wig but it's not such a really nice deep parting so this is the wig and as you can see i'm brushing through it with a really small rat tail comb and there are barely any tangles or any shedding okay now let's get down to the actual sectioning for the layers so you want to do a section from ear to ear so do it from like the crown area to one side of the um, ear of the frontal it doesn't have to be perfectly straight but try to get it as straight as possible now i'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side from the crown to one side of the ear so you're going to have a left and a right side basically a line going from ear to ear now i'm going to start with one side i'm starting with the left side just putting the back section out the way and i'm going to go from halfway um down the middle parts and i'm gonna do a section from the middle parts to the temple as you guys can see kind of like um a round section from the middle part to the temple those are gonna be the bangs i'm doing the same thing on the other side so you have a left and a right side just put those out the way those are going to be the bangs So now I'm going to start cutting the bangs first, just brushing it out. So you want to pull, so I'm taking the right side, pulling it over to the left of the mannequin head, just below where I feel my eye level will be. So if I think my eye level is going to be around there, I'm just going to cut below. And I'm cutting below because it's better to cut below and it's a little too long than to cut it above and it's too short. So you want to hold the hair at a 90 degree angle straight towards you before you cut. Cut it towards you. Use the razor comb and go in motion towards you. So I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Taking the left side, pulling it to the right below where my eye level will be. And holding it at a 90 degree angle and cutting towards me. As you can see, there's a nice tapered cut. It goes shorter towards the front and a little longer towards the end so you want to have that nice tapered angle if there's any part of this process that's difficult to understand ask me down below and i'll try my best to explain now for the left of the hair that we sectioned off from ear to ear we're gonna take that brush it out and split it into two again it doesn't have to be perfectly equal just try to get it as equal as possible So you have the two sides then we're gonna work on one section first so you want to take um the longest piece of hair from the bang that you just cut the longest piece 
use it as a length guide so measure it up with the section that you're about to cut and wherever the longest piece stops that is where you start to cut that other section so again hold it at a 90 degree angle and cut towards you so I'm trying to see if it's a nice tapered cut and if, if you need to just go in and do a little bit of cutting, a little bit of trimming here and there, just to make sure that it's nice and tapered, shorter at the top and longer at the bottom. So now you want to do the same thing again, take the longest piece of the section that you just cut, measure it up with the next section that you're about to cut and start cutting from where the longest piece stops. Again, hold it at a 90 degree angle and cut towards you. Then after that, go back to check it, inspect it, make sure that it's a nice tapered cut, shorter at the top and longer at the bottom. If you need to, go ahead and cut some more. And that's how you layer this side. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's a nice taper from the short bangs and it gradually goes longer. So this is basically how you want it to look. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Split it into two. Take the longest piece of the bang, use it to measure up for that section and start to cut from where the longest piece starts. I'm sorry, start to cut from where the longest piece stops. Hold it at a 90 degree angle and cut towards you. Just doing the exact same thing I just did on the other side. So I'm done layering this side and as you can see it has that nice taper again. Same thing on both sides. Now for the back, uh, my camera actually wasn't recording when I did that big section at the back. So yeah, if you want to see how to do the big section at the back, just click the at the top for my previous video where I did this exact same layers. Um, it's the same technique. So yeah. Anyways, I split that back section into two and I'm going to split one half, the right half into two again. Now I'm going to take a piece from the front section that we layered i'm taking the shortest piece this time the shortest piece from the front section we layered and using that as a measuring guide holding it at a 90 degree angle and again cutting towards me now again i'm going to take the shortest piece from the section i just cut use that as a measuring guide for the other half because remember we split that into two and just again cut towards me now for the other side again i'm going to split it into two so that big section at the back will basically split it into four again i'm taking the shortest piece from the front section that we layered using it as a measuring guide holding at the 90 degree angle and cutting towards me just doing the same thing throughout that back section Again, if this part is a little difficult to understand, I've done these exact same layers before in a previous video. So just click the ad at the top to see that video. If you want to see this technique explained in a different way. But yeah, for the rest of the hair, I didn't really touch that. I just, um, since Kinky Straight hair is a little bulky and I wanted to make this a bit shorter since the hair is 20 inches. I just took the razor comb and just combed through just a little bit at the rest of the back section just to thin it out slightly. And this is what, this was my final result. Doing layers like this takes some practice. You might not get it on your first try and that's okay. Just keep practicing and uh, practice makes perfect. That's exactly what I did. So now I'm about to put the wig on my head. I went ahead and wore my wig cap. And as you can see, I curled the back because it's easier for me to curl here when it's on the mannequin head than for me to curl it when it's on my own head. Now I'm just going to put it on my head and I'm going to um, attach the wig, just lay it down. As you can see, the hairline of this wig looks really, really natural. I haven't even laid it down yet and just look at how it looks. So I'm just going in with my god to be. Um, I know I promised you guys a video to show you how I lay my wigs now. I've actually um, really perfected my technique with laying wigs and my wigs have been coming out flawlessly. So I'm going to do a detailed video um, probably next week showing you guys how the entire process on how I lay my wigs You guys will see when I'm done laying this it's going to look like it's growing out of my scalp So I've gone ahead and done my makeup and finished laying the front one look at how natural this thing looks I didn't pluck a single hair. I did not bleach the knots. This is exactly how the front hook comes. And look at how natural it looks. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. This hairline is just amazing. You can see my, you can even see my wig cap through the front too. Like that is how much it melts into my scalp. 
But right now, it's because I have my hair up. That's why you can see my wake up. When I have my hair down, you won't be able to see it. So just imagine that it's not there, but just focus on the hairline. This hairline is just perfection. From ear to ear, absolute perfection. You know the hairline is good when you don't have to use baby hairs to hide it. So now I'm starting to curl. And as you can see, I'm using, I think that's a one inch barrel curling iron. I'm curling the hair away from my face. So after I curl it, I'm going to roll it up and use like a hairpin to hold the curl in place. So it sets. So I'm doing the bangs as well, curling the bangs away, curling away from my face, as you guys can see. And I'm also using some hairspray. And to be honest, I really didn't need the hairspray. The hairspray really didn't do that much. And I actually left some white particles in the wig, so I probably skipped the hairspray. So I've taken out the paint after I let the hair set for like about 30 minutes. And I'm just using a round brush. Yes, you want to get a round brush and use it to brush out the curls. It just takes the wig to a whole new level. This is so beautiful. The curls in this wig are amazing. They look so fluffy, so nice. And the hair took the curls beautifully. So I'm just shaking it up a little bit just to give it more volume. And this is the final result, guys. As you can see, you can't see my wig cap anymore now my hair is down. Look at it. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. It looks like it is my own hair. It looks like I straightened my hair. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love that I did the layers. I love that I did the curl. This is just ah, absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, so this is the final result. This thing came out just uh, like, this is so beautiful. I love the way the bangs just fall in front. It's kinky straight hair, so it just makes it look even better. I feel like if I had done this on regular straight hair, it would have come out as nice as this. This hair took the curls really, really well. As you can see, it's very, very bouncy very fluffy has a lot of body like look at that this is just absolutely gorgeous to be very honest like, i feel like this year i really stepped my game up when it comes to my wig styling like even with how i do my um installs like they've become so much better and um, the hairline of this wig is flawless it is flawless i did not pluck a single hair from this the only thing is that you can see my wig cap but that's because the lace is very thin to where it lays really flat and really natural and really blends into your scalp just wear a wig cap that matches your skin tone as you can see this is very close to my skin tone so it's fine if you wear a wig cap that is like too light for you it's going to show so just look for a wig cap that's very very close to your skin tone other than that though this hair is so soft and so fluffy look at that oh god the wig is from atina hair all the information everything for where you can get the hair is going to be down below in the description box plus discount codes and all of that don't forget to like comment subscribe and share you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below or my face on this side also do not forget to watch my other week videos on this side i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys